Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have an all new Shop My Stash video. So if you have not seen this series before, this is basically what I like to do every two weeks to make sure I'm cycling through my products. I'll be picking out kind of a little curated makeup basket that I want to focus on for the next two weeks. In the beginning of these videos, I like to share a recap of what I was focusing on on my last rotation, and then the second half of the video will be me selecting the products. All right, so first, I want to talk about some items that I might have cheated on, meaning these are items that were not in my basket, but I brought in and ended up using over the past two weeks, and I actually, I usually, I don't cheat a lot. Maybe I'll bring in one or two, but usually I try to wait until the next rotation to bring something new in. But this time around, I had a lot of products that I received in PR that I wanted to test out for videos. So I did bring a few of them in. So essentially, anything that you saw in my testing new drugstore makeup video or my most recent drugstore haul, most of those I kind of brought in to use a little bit. So I'll leave both those videos linked down below. Even with that being said, I really tried to still focus on the items in my makeup basket because I do this series for a reason. But that being said, over the last month or even just last few weeks, my skin has been very angry with me. I feel like I have been testing out so many primers, foundations, and different base products and my skin is just not reacting well and I don't know if it's due to the different products I've been using or stress or the fact that I've been traveling a lot over the past few weeks but my skin has definitely had a lot more breakouts than I usually get. It's not something that's super noticeable on camera. I mean, of course I'm wearing makeup, but I do have a lot more texture on my skin than I normally do, and I haven't been able to find the culprit of that because I've been trying so many different products. So you will notice that this round, I'm going to try to be a little more cautious of what I'm bringing in. I'm going to stick with base products that I know and that I trust so that I can kind of get my skin under control and then maybe next round I can go back to testing a few of these. But probably the standout product for my makeup basket this last round were these liquid lipsticks. These are season one of the liquid lipsticks from Persona. I did put in all three shades. If you want to hear some more in-depth thoughts on these, I did just review them in a new Hits and Misses video. But this shade in particular, OG Matte, I've been wearing consistently. I've been wearing this the most out of everything. So. This, even though I kind of want to keep it in my basket one more rotation because I love it, I'm going to take this out because I feel like I got a ton of use on it. I'm also going to take out Flamingo because I feel like I use this plenty, but I'm going to... Oh gosh, is this lid? Oh, that's a bummer. This packaging, the lid just broke off. That's kind of a bummer. Anyways, this is the shade Holy Grail. It's a red and I'm going to keep it in this rotation because I have a vision for it. I had a lot of fun reaching for my photo pigments from Juice Beauty. This is the shade 2. It's the bronzer. I'm wearing it today. I did put a little bit of my butter bronzer over top, but this is like the majority of the bronzer today. I also enjoyed having my Peach Perfect in this past rotation. It just is a little too dark for me, and I thought I would be soft tanning a lot, and I just haven't really, so I'll probably put this back for a little while. I'm so glad that I focused on this blush in my last rotation. This is the shade Tinge from Lorac. And I wore this a lot. Like, I was so happy to have this in my makeup basket. I'm wearing it today, and it just made me realize how much I like this color. And I was a little bit nervous when I picked it out that it was going to be too pink and it wasn't going to work with a lot of looks. But I actually think when it's on the skin, it's not quite as much of a baby pink. It just looks more like a nude. As far as palettes go, I think I picked a great trio for this last rotation. I was focusing on Modern Renaissance, Deuce, and Magic. Today I am wearing the Magic palette and I did record this eye look. So that'll be up on my Instagram shortly. And I actually did some really fun looks pairing these two palettes together. Just a few days ago, I did a green look pairing both of the greens in these palettes, and I loved having the Deuce palette in my rotation this last round. I am just so inspired whenever I look at this, and I think it is very fun for spring. I have decided that I'm going to put it back for the next two weeks, but I think probably within the next month or so, I will bring it back in, but I kind of have a vision for the next few palettes. So I'll let you guys know shortly. If you missed it, I did a tutorial using Modern Renaissance. 
it was my full face of nothing new video. I did kind of a 90s supermodel inspired look with this palette. So I'll leave that link down below. I also had so much fun reaching into my Mary Luminizer. I kind of thought maybe I could hit pan, like side pan on it, but I'm still a little ways away from that. This will go back for now, or will it? I am gonna put my Persona highlight back, but maybe I will keep Mary Lou for now, I'm not sure. But that was a bit of a wrap up on what I've been focusing on, and now let's hop into the selection. All right, so we're starting off in the base drawer, and like I said in the intro, I'm kind of trying to stick with things that I know for sure my skin likes, just because I've been having some issues with my skin recently. So as you know, I already have my first light primer in my basket this round because it's in my Shot My Stat or my Project Pan, and all those items stay in. So I'm kind of thinking that that's gonna be the only primer I focus on just because I don't wanna be switching it up too much. So I'm just gonna use this. And then honestly, I think I'm just gonna go with the Born This Way foundation. Um, I have mine in the shade Vanilla. It's almost a little dark for me, but I can make it work. And I just, I know I like this. I can make it a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter. So I think I'm just gonna use this. And obviously I have my all-nighter from my project. Also from this drawer, I just love my Ofra Makeup Fixer. I know this is a safe bet for me, so I'm gonna throw this in as my setting spray. Drawer number two. Okay, so first I definitely wanna throw in my new blush from Burt's Bees. This is the shade Toasted Cinnamon and I picked it up recently. I think this will be nice as like a very, obviously warm, neutral blush. And then, Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I think I'm going to put Party from Tarte back. Ever since starting this series, I have not put any of my Project Pan items back. They've always stayed in my makeup basket. But if you guys do keep up with my series, you know that I mentioned in my last Project Pan update that I only wanted to keep Party in for one more month, and then I would add in a new blush into the project. So I'm... I feel like I got enough use out of this in the last rotation that I can put it back and honestly just focus on whatever blushes I decide to bring in. So let me think about this. I brought in, okay. This blush will work for a very warm tone look, a very neutral look, but I kind of want something for more of a cool tone look. So I think I'm gonna bring in my strobing blush. So this is from Catrice, it's a beautiful berry and depending on where you put your brush, you can kind of pick up a lighter color or a darker color and get some shimmer. And then honestly, not that anyone needs three blushes for two weeks, but I also want to throw this in because I haven't had a chance to use it yet. This is from the new Rebel Rose collection from Wet n Wild. They just call this their cream blush. It looks black, but it's supposed to be, ugh, I'll open this later. I'll break a nail if I try to open this, but it's supposed to be one of those color changing blushes. So we'll see what I think of this. I normally love cream blushes but I don't know about a color changing cream blush. Okay, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm already putting my Milk Makeup bronzer stick back in my basket. I had this in, I think the last rotation and then I took it out and I'm putting it back in. I just, I love it. I wanna have another cream blush to kind of use in conjunction with my powder blush. This is the Butter Bronzer, which is in my project and I think these pair so nicely together. Okay, for a highlight, I mentioned in my last update that I wanted to put this in soon, so I'm gonna throw it in this rotation. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise from Pixi. This is a really pretty highlight. It's not super intense. I mean, it's not a subtle highlight, but it's not on the level of like Ofra, so it's really beautiful for every day. But I am gonna wanna add one more highlighter, so let's think about this. I have the two shades here. I have more of a rosy color for if I'm doing a pinker look pink or what, a more of a pinky look, and then I have more of a white gold. So I think, you know what? I haven't told you guys the palette I'm bringing in yet, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. It's a little bit, it's very warm tone, and I have a vision for like some very yellowy looks this round. So what I'm looking for is this. I'm gonna put this in. This is from Fenty Beauty. It is the shade Hustla Baby. It's a really pretty gold highlight and it's quite a bit deeper than this one, so if I have more of a self tan, this will be a good option. Okay, 
Okay, what else do I need from this drawer? I already have a powder and normally I might pull in a second powder, but I'm not going to just because I'm so close to finishing the powder in my project pan that I only want to focus on that. Also, a concealer. For the third rotation in a row, I'm going to keep my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in. I just, I'm so close to finishing this off. Maybe not as close as I initially thought, but every time I think, ugh, if I just keep this in one more rotation, I will finish it up. So I'm gonna keep this in, but to mix it with, I have been mixing it with the shade Light from Koki, but I think I'm gonna switch it up and actually go with the shade number one from First Aid Beauty. All right, moving on to the lip and eye drawer. Honestly, this drawer is getting pretty out of hand, and I've been telling myself for a while that I want to organize these drawers and looking at this is making me realize I need to do that soon but for now this is what we're working with and let's think okay I already added in the shade holy grail from persona and I actually have a vision this month how many times do I say that I have a vision for like a bright bold pink color kind of inspired by that new Stunna lip paint from Fenty Beauty. It's a very beautiful, bold pink, and I've been wanting to do a look utilizing a color like that, and I kind of think I can dupe something similar in my collection. So I obviously don't think this is the same color, but I think it'll give me that similar effect of like a really bold pink. So this is the shade of Magenta Formula from Physicians Formula, and it's a stunning hot pink color. So I think maybe if I use this, it would kind of give me a similar effect. I'm almost tempted to pair it with this. This is the shade Savage from Urban Decay. It's one of their Hi-Fi lip glosses. I think together this could be pretty. These are probably more like hot pink than berry, like the other one, maybe this color too. This is from Koki and it's the shade Bright Fuchsia. Oops. I'm not sure, I just, I'm feeling like this is a cool springy combo, so how many times am I gonna drop this? <laughs> I'm gonna put these three in all together. I don't know if I'm gonna use a bunch of, what am I saying? I don't know if I'll get a lot of individual use from them, but I think at least once I might wear all of them together, or I just, I wanna have the option, so I'm gonna put all three of these in. Also, these two are new to me from NCLA. This one you saw me wearing in the intro. It is the shade Hidden Hills Hottie. It's like a brown peach, so I wanna throw that in. Also have a vision for this. I always try to like think ahead to my next makeup basket for some looks I wanna do, and I kinda of wanna utilize this in like a monochromatic peach look with a peach eye, but honestly, this isn't really that peach. And then this color is called Pasadena Roses. It's a really pretty like everyday mauve. Hmm, what else? Normally, I don't I will lately, I've been trying not to pick too many lips. However, I have more of a neutral palette that I'm planning to pull in this round, so I kind of want to offset that with some very fun lip colors that I might not normally pair with some more like colorful eye looks. So I also want to throw in a brown. This is another Physicians Formula shade. It's called Nutricious, like a playoff of Nutritious. And I want to wear this in maybe like a grungy 90s inspired look. You guys know in one of my recent videos, I did like a 90s inspired look and I kind of want to do some more maybe with a bold brown lip like this. As always, I need a nude lip liner. So this is the shade Warm Nude from Koki. And then I also have to have some sort of a gloss. So let's go with Fuel from Urban Decay, one of my like safety net go-to colors. Okay, I know I have a lot of lip products this round. We'll see how many of these I get to. I think I should be able to do a look with each of these, but if not, some of these might stay in another rotation. All right, one product I've been meaning to throw into my makeup basket for the last few rotations and keep forgetting is this little diamond, or no, titanium dust. This is from um, Blush Tribe and the shade, shade is called Aisha. And it's a really cool color, but I, get so intimidated by loose pigments like this and when Kathleen Lights collabed with ColourPop for her, for her new loose pigments, I kind of wanted to get one but I was like, you know what, I don't even play with the one that I have so I want to try and play around with this and see what I can come up with and maybe I'll figure out I love loose pigments and maybe I'll be inspired to purchase some more or maybe I'll decide, you know what, it's not for me but I figured this could kind of satisfy that craving of mine. 
And then I wanna throw in one glitter shadow, and I think it's gonna be this one. This one has seen better days. The packaging is a mess, but this is the shade of Pure Intention from Wet n Wild. This is limited edition from the Gothographic collection. This is a cool like topper shade, so I think I have an idea of how I might wanna use this. And then any eyeliner products. What do I wanna grab from here? Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna grab any eyeliners this round because I've noticed recently when I put eyeliners in my shop my stash, they don't always pair up with whatever look I'm trying to do. So sometimes it's just easier for me to run in here and pull a specific eyeliner that I'm looking for. So I don't wanna limit myself by bringing in eyeliners and I don't always end up using them if I bring them in. So I'm actually not gonna grab any this round and we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, so my makeup basket has all been selected right here and now let's talk about palettes. I am gonna give myself a little bit of a challenge this rotation because I'm picking two mini palettes. These don't have a ton of shades in them. The first one is the Yes Please palette. I mean, this has 12 shades, so I guess it's not that mini, but I'm definitely not going to have as many colors to choose from as I have recently. And the second palette that I wanna focus on is the Viper palette from Sigma. I feel like these will be good combos because they're so different from each other. This is obviously very warm toned. This has a lot more cool tones in it. But I think even though this is only a six pan palette, having this duochrome shade right here is gonna give me a lot of flexibility because I can layer that over any of these shades or any of these shades. And like I said, I might try to do some more like simple eye looks, maybe utilizing Yes Please and then pair that with a very bold lip color, like some of the many, many, many lip colors that I've chosen this round. So I think these will be fun, and I'm also obviously gonna be focusing on this pigment, so I hope that I don't get bored with just these two, because I think I can do a lot of looks with them together or separately. So this is what the final basket looks like. I'm really excited with these selections. Of course, I'll be back in two weeks to share my thoughts and pick out new products, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.